Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Petey Prowlock and international break is now here, as much as we can't be bothered with it, but we well, thought so let's get a video on about analysing Newcastle's season so far. As you can see, I've got Adam with us who appeared in the West Ham preview. That was the last time he came on, so I thought I'd get him back and uh, we'll discuss on how we think the season's gone on. I'll get his thoughts mostly and yeah, so Adam. We're sitting in 13th place, we're on 15 points, and we're 7 points out the relegation zone. Mm -hmm. How do you say the season's gone so far already, under first season under Steve Bruce? Well, it could be, it could have gone better, but it could have gone worse. I mean, we had that rocky start to begin with at the beginning of the season, where we obviously missed out on getting a point against Arsenal, then we obviously got going to Norwich and get absolutely bad, which still scratches my head um, to this actual day itself there. Um, We've just been very unlucky as of late, to be honest with you. But obviously, there have been some like queries or questions about our form as of late. Um, but it's just if we had rules games win like those points, we could, could obviously be a bit more higher or just be outside the European spots. But obviously, not being ambitious or whatnot because it's Newcastle, you never know. Um, but it's just been mediocre so far at the moment. Yeah, I think a lot of fans have. Uh thinks it's actually gone better than what he expected. A lot of fans were thinking we're going to probably be sitting in the bottom three or just outside of it. But it looks like Steve Bruce has tried to prove a few haters wrong by this rate as so far um, against because their wins against West Ham and Bournemouth were very uh, crucial as well. Absolutely. Um, because it's just to show a point that we can do well against the teams that are in the top six, but we're not doing really good against the team that's obviously around us so that we can try and get those points to drift away from the relegation zone because I mean at this stage we're normally just like hovering over the relegation zone everyone's like oh we're going down we're going down but we just need to have a bit of hope with Steve Bruce obviously I think he is starting to turn things around but it's still early days in the season see where we're up to on Christmas and see where we can do for upgrading up to the January transfer window and then after the January transfer window now we can basically say right what can we do can we stay mid-table can we keep our form going but sky's the limit Absolutely. Well, what do you think has been the positive so far this season? Well, we could definitely the touch on the back to back wins. Any like results, players that have managed to stand out that were brought in there this season? Positives. There has been one positive at the moment, but it's only one person, St. Maximin. He's looked brilliant. Oh, I, I love him. He's absolutely. Oh, he looks so energetic. <laughs> when he's on the ball, you're thinking, for oh, when he takes on people as well. Yeah, I mean. I mean, I have seen the videos of him obviously performing that well in training, yet he's still, his end park's not the greatest, but he's just like, he's starting to pick that form up. I mean, ever since the game against Bournemouth, where basically I think that he's done more touches or more passes or whatnot since anyone in Bournemouth, um, I think once he gets that goal he can actually start obviously getting going but it's not about goals, it's basically just trying to obviously get the assist, try to get Joel Linton into the actual air uh, free of mind. Um, I think he could be the actual turning point or the catalyst to keep us up this season. Absolutely well. I think another player I'm going to point out, Willems, I think has been another one, even though he is on loan. But <laughs> I think if, we, if we're going to get this lad, I think they're looking at around about 10 million in his release clause from what I've heard. I think it's a no-brainer. I mean, how old is he? Like, what, 24, 25? 25, I think he is. 25. He's still got a couple of years left in him. And obviously, he's an absolute beast at the back. Um, he has been perfect for when Richie was out injured. Um, and obviously, when Richie does come back, he does have some competition to try and get himself back into that actual squad. But Will Willems, it's a no-brainer. We've got to get his signature on the dotted line when it comes to January. Because if, if he obviously goes, then obviously, um, if I find out, oh, Sorry, how oh, apologies about this. I want to think about things. Um, if he go, if we don't sign him at the end of the chance window, they'll be like, oh, okay, we'll sign a new contract, try and get him a bit more higher for the valuation of money. But ten million, bargain. Snap your hand off. Oh, absolutely, definitely, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, what do you think's been the negative so far this season? I mean, like, we've, um, of course, we've suffered defeat against Norwich, bad five 0 away to Leicester. Uh, games like that and also dropping points against the likes of Watford, Bournemouth, Wolves at home as well. Yeah, um, I think basically I think the one thing that is basically going down for us is scoring the goals because I mean yeah because like I, I mean we've only had 
a goal scored by a forward. That was Joel Linton um, in the game against Tottenham. But at the moment, have you noticed that our defenders are actually scoring the goals? And I don't know if it's from set pieces or whatnot, but um, we just can't rely on set pieces to obviously score those goals. We need someone to obviously like try to commit going forward and trying to bang in those goals. Because, um, I mean, like that's what happens goals win you matches I mean if you look at like um, like Timu Puki I don't know where he's went now these days because obviously he's banging like 10 goals for fun and now he's just disappeared off the face of the earth um, even like a, if we get like a player like a Jamie Vardy or whatnot or someone along that calibre we can obviously try to get get turn those draws into wins yeah absolutely yes um, well if we do have a good month because we've got Villa what do you think Steve Bruce it's on the verge, could be on the verge of get manager of the month for November as well. Ooh, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say a contender for manager of the month. I mean, you do have to look at other people of who deserves to obviously get that manager of the month. I mean, they've obviously got like, Jurgen Klopp. You've got uh, Brendan Rodgers, who's actually doing one wonders with Leicester. He's turned that club upside down. Um, but, but manager of the month, let's let's be honest. It don't, we don't see him. I mean, obviously, um, we had Rafa getting it done once, but obviously, if, if Steve Bruce does actually get the actual um, the award, we'll give him credit to obviously where credit is due. But he obviously needs to keep that could be like a, an incentive to try and keep keep going and try and keep everything all like focused and whatnot. Yes, I know we touch on uh, players who have looked shining. Which players? of the new players have been very disappointing so far. And I think Joe Linton is trying. I think he is trying to get a little bit better per game. Mm. I think one of them I'm going to really pick out is uh, Emil Kraft. Abs absolutely. Um, Brazi not Brazilian, no. Swedish. <laughs> if it was Brazilian, yeah, definitely. Um, Swedish national. No, I'm sorry. He, he's not fit for the Premier League, in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, yes, obviously, oh, he goes to play like first team football for like a foreign country. And then all oh, we're expecting, obviously, gel in the Premier League. I don't think so. He's not. He's not that actual caliber yet. I mean, I give him an opportunity in the FA Cup when obviously when that turns around to see if he can try to get on that level, playing off against against teams like obviously the Championship, League One, or whatnot, try and get him going. But I just don't see him go. He's just making far too many mistakes these days. And uh, he was kind of dropped in Yellen's man. Yellen's managed to get his place back um, as well, which has been a good sign. Mm. Because I think he was he was sounded to be a bit of a big miss as well, Yedlin. He has been. I personally think that this has been the best form I've ever seen of John Andre Yedlin. Uh, mm. ever, ever since we came up from the championship, I think this is the best form that he's ever been in. And he's just he's just very pacey and he knows how to commit into the actual balls. Yes, he can go get the, um, the odd red card, obviously the odd yellow, sometimes an, uh, an occasional yellow or whatnot, but that's what you expect from, a, uh, from the fullbacks. Oh, absolutely. I know, like, another thing that I was going to point out, you know, we were not a big fan of Bruce playing the wing-back system, mm. but somehow it is looks like it is starting to work now yeah. a, a bit as well, which is really, wow. You're thinking, Dan's are thinking, wow, how is it now starting to work? <sighs> I, I, doubt, I doubt the five-back system, but I think it's just... It's just difficult to obviously pinpoint like what's actually happening with that actual formation because I think some people do obviously tend to play themselves out of formation these days. But it's just it's just a, it's a mystery. It really is. Yeah. Well, we did get some bad news. Unfortunately, Jamal Sells looks like he's going to be ruled out for the rest of 2019. That's a a big blow. But uh, hopefully, uh, after the international break, it's going to get the likes of uh, Fabian Cher, Lejeune back uh, as well. Yeah. I'm excited to see Fabian Cher back in the squad because he's been a big, big miss for us. He, and I mean, he was absolutely a brick for us last season and he's actually shown his commitment. Probably the best commitment I've ever seen for the back four as of late. Obviously, Paul Dummett, he's done an OK job. Obviously, he's good to obviously come off the bench and try and get some... try to obviously get like the, the game going, getting fluid. Um, the cells, up, up for debate, up for debate, but... Obviously, I think this is a perfect opportunity to obviously get himself recovered, come back in, and obviously try and get back into that starting eleven. And Federico Fernandez, uh, farewell. I think he's done very well since come back. Yeah, he he's done really, really well. Um, obviously, he hasn't played as much, but he is showing that he deserves. To obviously, you put people put in this actual squad itself there, and Kieran Clark. By God, oh, he, he's oh. doubted me wrong. Wow. And if you ask me, if you were to keep Kieran Clark in the summer, I would have got rid of him. Mm, that's what a lot of fans think. Well, because Rafa 
didn't maybe was didn't maybe seem to trust him um, as well lately. But I think Bruce, with him coming now in, has looked at Clark and, and probably said to him, "Right, Rafa didn't trust you, obviously." You've got my trust, and I want to see what you can do. And look what he's done. Two goals in his last two games. Yeah, is he not the top goal scorer for us this season? Hi, apparently so as well. Like two goals. I can't believe our full-back has been... Oh, yeah, our centre-back's obviously doing better for us. And then, obviously, he's got like uh, a recall back into the, into the international stage, hoping to try and get Ireland into the actual um, Euro 2020. He's done well. Um, if he can keep that form going over, if he actually scores a game against scores against Aston Villa, oh, 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 oh my God, that is going to be mental. I wouldn't let that down. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yes, another player I'm going to touch on who's been coming back in the squad is uh, John Joe Shelby as well. Oh, John Joe Shelby. He's a funny one. He, yeah, but he's done well in these last two games. I mean, I think some people from the Castle Fans TV said that I think he's lost his pace. And I completely agree, but he's there when we need it. Um, I don't know if his times is numbered at Newcastle, but I think that he's trying to contribute a bit more uh, to try and get us high up the table. And obviously, if he does end up going in January, then I think that he'll do. A, he's done a good, done good service for Newcastle. Yeah, and obviously, no. I think you've got like uh, Matty and Sean Longstaff coming up the ranks. I think they're perfect replacements for John Joe Shelby, in my in my opinion. Uh, obviously, we are planning for the future. Well, absolutely well. Just to wrap this up, so we're all sitting on 15th place, as I said, and also, I mean, sitting on 15 points in 13th place, 7 points out of the relegation zone. Are we going to be staying up for this season now, or do you think it's still early? I'd say it's still early. Um, wait for January to see what happens and obviously see how our form goes because obviously we've got like teams around us so obviously we've got like Villa, Sheffield United and I think we've also got Burnley as well just before we played the big boys of Manchester City if we manage to get those three points um, get those nine points out of those uh, 12 I think we should be okay but we need to strengthen our squad Yeah. Oh, yes actually I will get on to another last thing sorry I apologise <laughs> what does need strengthen and what position does need strengthen and I think we need a backup, we need a new, new backup striker, in my opinion. Um, and I'm also hearing rumours that apparently we've been linked to getting Granite Xhaka from Arsenal. Uh, yeah, I've heard about that. What do you make of that one? Would, would, is there a player would you take or with his, because of his actions, what he did against Palace, did a lot of, what are you thinking? Well, I don't want to obviously make like any passing comments about obviously what he's done because I don't want to make all the Arsenal fans come out with pitchforks and torches. But... Obviously, he is, a, he is a professional footballer, but if he comes out of Arsenal, I think we can actually try and revive his career. And obviously, he is best friends with Fabian Shaw. Okay. So, obviously, if we obviously get Xhaka with um, linking up with Shaw in January, then I think we should, he should, um, should contribute a bit more. Skip, not obviously get like the captaincy for us or whatnot, because obviously we've got a good captaincy in uh, Jamal Lascelles. But I think it'd be a decent addition, like, a, like probably a little bit of an upgrade from John Joe Shelby in my eyes. Oh, well, and then there you go. That is the video done. What do you make of Adam Sorts and what we've discussed about how this season's gone all so far? Let me know in the comment section, as always. Brilliant. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like and a comment, as I said. If you also haven't checked me out, please make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Let's try and get to 500 subscribers very, very soon. And I'll see you all later. Take care.